Hi, I'm Dr. Sheila Johnson, and I teach a number of courses here at Georgia Tech. You know, I got into the field for the research, but I found that teaching has become my true passion. I love when a student gets a concept for the first time. I mean, really gets it, and the light bulb comes on. Some of them become the world's leaders and innovators right before your eyes. They're like your children in a lot of ways. Some of them are far away from home, um, some of them for the very first time, and you want them to learn and grow from their mistakes, but you're nervous at the same time. I think the difficult thing is knowing how to separate the serious stuff from the stuff that young adults inevitably go through, knowing when to step in and when to just let it be. Susan met this guy in my class and they started dating. And to be honest, I never approved or understood. She was such a bright and smart girl and he was really just the opposite. He would cut her off in class and make jokes at her expense, at all the female students actually. I just never saw him treat her with any respect. The parent in me just wanted to shake her and ask her, what was she thinking? It looked bad, everything about it. He had her up against the wall and his hand was above her head, almost pinning her against the wall. And his face was all red and he, was, he wasn't yelling, but you could just tell that his words were just dripping with anger. And then when she looked at me, the look on her face, I could have cried. She looked absolutely terrified. She wasn't that eager to talk to me about it, and I understand, but she said that it was her first real boyfriend and they were pretty serious and that they planned to move in with each other. I asked her if she thought that was a good idea and she just shrugged and said, yeah. She kind of shut down after that and I felt that I had maybe pried too much, so I think I just told her to be careful with men or something to that effect, and then she left. It's just so hard to say. At the end of the day, these are adults. And just because I wouldn't be in that type of relationship, it doesn't mean it wasn't right for her. And I never saw him hit her or anything that I know of. It's just something about the way she looked that day. I still think about it five years later. When that poor girl was killed by her boyfriend, all of the articles that I read talked about how the teachers and the coaches should have done something and should have intervened before it was too late and all of the warning signs. And I thought about Susan. Eventually, I tried to look her up. All I could find was that a year after I had her in class, she left school and she didn't graduate. She was such a focused student just doesn't make sense that she wouldn't have graduated. I just really hope that she's okay.